No other celestial body makes the scientific headlines as often as Mars. In the past decades, dozens of space probes have been sent to the red planet's rust-covered surface and have already revealed many groundbreaking characteristics of the legendary celestial body. Together with you, we would like to take a look at the extraordinary Martian finds that have been recorded in the recent past. Curious about bizarre crater structures, traces of water, and fascinating organic matter? Let's get started. If you're excited about impressive discoveries, discoveries, and distinctive phenomena in space, then be sure to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. With a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Strange Tree Stump Crater On October 19, 2016, the European Space Agency's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter swung into orbit around the Red Planet and began its hotly anticipated research mission. The unmanned spacecraft is primarily intended to take a comprehensive look at the Martian atmosphere. Among other analyses, its methane will be examined together with other trace gases for geological or biological causes. While TGO orbits the red planet and analyzes its thin atmosphere, the complex instrument will also take a detailed look at the planet's surface. This endeavor is accomplished through the use of the color and stereo surface imaging system. One of these images, taken by the orbiter in June 2021, drew attention to itself with a curious detail. Viewed from above, the the structure on the surface of Mars looks like a giant terrestrial tree stump, complete with concentric rings reflecting its age. But those who had hoped that TGO had found the remains of an ancient Martian forest were to be disappointed. The image does not actually show an extraterrestrial tree stump, but a particularly ice-rich impact crater. Although the ring-shaped structures do not provide any information about its age, for the experts, they nevertheless hold a not insignificant research potential. The detailed investigation of the impact site could help experts to understand which external processes took place on Mars during its existence. According to the current state of knowledge, the crater is rich in water ice deposits that accumulated there a long time ago. Experts suspect that the icy deposits in the meteorite crater changed remarkably over time due to the inclination of the planet. It is well known that the inclination of a planet leads to seasonal changes on the celestial body. Compared to our Earth, the rotation axis of Mars has changed quite dramatically in the past. This means that at one point, the orbital inclination of the red planet allowed the formation of water ice deposits at lower latitudes than today. In fact, those structures in the crater, which at first glance resemble the rings of a tree stump, are most likely due to the change in external environmental influences that Mars underwent over time. Specifically, the experts assume it's the result of changing seasons and temperatures, which cause the material in the crater to expand and contract again in step with the heat and cold. We can look forward to the insights that in-depth analysis of the crater structure will reveal in the future. The Composition of the Crater Floor TGO, however, is not the only unmanned vehicle searching for revealing traces on the surface of Mars. As part of NASA's Mars 2020 mission, Perseverance rover was set down in Jezero Crater in the northern hemisphere of Mars on February 18, 2021. What is special about this research project is that it is the first helicopter mission on the Red Planet. In fact, the small helicopter Ingenuity also made the approximately 280 million mile flight to Mars. While the two helicopters have already been in service for about a year, we take this opportunity to look at the findings of the Mars 2020 mission so far. The landing site, the Jezero Crater, has long been suspected of having once embodied a full-blown Martian lake. And yet, the composition of the crater floor, in particular, raised some major questions in the run-up to the mission. Is it igneous rock formed by flowing lava? Or does the bottom of the dried-up lake consist of sedimentary rock, which in turn is composed of minerals that were once transported into the body of water by a river? By using perseverance, the experts managed to shed some light on this cosmic mystery. According to the data collected, at least part of the lake bed is composed of solidified lava. The rover's approach, which made this exciting discovery possible, was quite pragmatic. Basically, Perseverance used its robotic arm to crush the rock sample it had taken. The sample was then analyzed by the Pixel instrument. This is an X-ray 
fluorescence spectroscope that also has a high-resolution camera and can thus determine the elemental composition of the Martian surface. Traces of water Another exciting discovery was also made using the Pixel instrument. Examination of a rock, which the experts christened Brack, showed that it contained large olivine crystals enclosed by pyrozine crystals. From this, it's clear that water and magma used to exist on the red planet. Indeed, such a structure indicates that the studied rock formed as the crystals grew and settled in slowly cooling magma. Due to the influence of the water, the rock in turn underwent several transformations, making it a fascinating treasure trove for scientists that provides deep insights into the planet's past. In future studies, researchers should be able to narrow down the periods when water was common on the surface of Mars. A look into the depths. While the analysis of the Martian surface is already an exciting aspect of research, we should not ignore a technical question. What is actually hiding beneath the red planet's surface, which is covered in iron oxide dust? To get to the bottom of this exciting mystery, the so-called RIMFAX was developed. This device, which bears the full name, the Radar Imager for Mars Subsurface Exploration, is a ground-penetrating radar. Every four inches, RIMFAX acquires a vertical profile so that it can create a two-dimensional image of the subsurface during travel. Depending on the nature of the ground, the radar's technical view extends up to 30 feet into the depths. With the help of the scattered and reflected radio waves, RIMFAX is not only able to detect the density and geological structure of the ground, but also meteorites, water ice, brine, and rocks. Data collected during the study of a specific ridge line between two soil structures show several rock layers below the surface have the same angle of inclination, indicating the geological structure called seta must have been formed before the so-called crater floor fractured rough. In detail, the deployment of RIMFAX opens a new chapter in Mars exploration. Never before has a ground-penetrating radar worked directly on the red planet. Consequently, the instrument, developed by a team led by Norwegian Sven Erik Hamren, can provide significantly more detailed data than any Mars satellite in the past. Organic Matter no less impressive is the discovery of organic compounds in dust and rock. The Sherlock instrument was used for this exciting discovery. Equipped with complex ultraviolet lasers, Sherlock is capable of determining precise mineralogy and organic compounds. In fact, the instrument, developed by a team of experts from California, is the first ultraviolet Raman spectrometer to be deployed on Mars. Organic substances are of fundamental importance among experts above all, because they are regarded as the basic building blocks of life. However, this does not mean that the corresponding findings on Mars necessarily have a biological background, because in fact, non-biological processes can also lead to the formation of organic substances. Whether the corresponding Martian samples were once produced by living organisms or not is a matter for future investigation. In fact, this exciting discovery is not the first of its kind. The Curiosity rover had also succeeded in detecting organic matter at its landing site in Gale Crater. However, by using Sherlock, it's now possible to determine the spatial distribution of the substances in the rock and to relate these to the minerals they contain. Revealing the true background of the findings, however, will take some time. It's possible that this scientific milestone will not be reached until the samples taken have been returned to Earth. There, over a period of several years, they will be the subject of extensive scientific analysis. It is undoubtedly impressive what exciting discoveries Perseverance has already been able to record. As soon as NASA's Mars 2020 mission unearths future findings, we'll inform you here. Now it's your turn. Which of the exciting Mars discoveries has amazed you the most? We're already looking forward to your comments. Would you like to see more interesting videos about the most exciting discoveries in space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.